This is part two of how to make a doll tablet, and currently we just made this, the body of it. So what you need now is a scrap piece of paper, a pencil, maybe a uh, sharpie, scissors, definitely, and if you want to, regular tape or duct tape. Okay, yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is, um, we are going to make a cover, like a permanent cover for the tablet. Yeah. So, um, what you're going to do is you want like a thin kind of paper. I got this for Christmas a couple years ago. It's very thin and it's like really good for like making dull scrapbook paper. For example, I was working on a scrapbook. See? You like it? Like it? Okay. Yeah, and it's very good because it has like it's really thin and you can see through it sometimes. And so that's what we're going to take to advantage today. So, uh basically you want that thin stuff, or you want to uh, outline this thing with a black Sharpie marker so you can see through it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to. I, what you're going to do is you're going to outline the screen, uh, the home button, and the camera. So I'm going to start with the camera. And then I'm going to try to do the screen. Like I said before, this is my first attempt, so don't judge. Okay, so, yeah, you just want to, like, outline all the lines that you made on your tablet so far? No, no, no. Don't. And try not to move it like I did. Maybe I can match it up again. And that wasn't even there. I'll put that right here and see if it matches up. Oh my goodness, total failure, okay, I don't know how to say this, but it's like very hard, and you want to just like, try your best, I mean not everyone is perfect, so not everyone can do this, this may be like a medium kind of scale range, Okay, I'm going to outline this, and my camera is right about Okay, so, now that I got that, you're going to outline the outside of the tablet. And it's okay to, like, like, this is, you don't have to have it to the exact, because you can always fold it over. Okay, but seriously, you gotta give me credit for trying. This is a very hard project just to come by. And, yeah, you just gotta give me credit. So now you're just going to cut out your thing, your case. And while we're doing this, I'm going to answer a question we got from a fan of ours. Uh, they asked, why do we make videos that only have like one, one clip in them? And don't you have a video editor? And the answer is, yes, we do have a video 
manager, but we prefer not to use it because of its terrible, terrible accuracy. And it takes like an hour to upload things, so we only use it for music videos, which we can't really do on YouTube, so. Like, no, like we can't, um, put music onto videos like while we're video editing. So, just, and you start folding it over the edges, as you see here. And so you just want to fold over the edges. Or, this is what I'm going to do. Take your glue stick, my Crayola washable glue stick, and apply glue to the back. Like this. So you just make a big, big blob. I recommend this glue to anyone. This is... The one of the best glue sticks there are. Yeah. Like, especially for these kind of crafts. And, yeah, so then you're going to fold it over. And now you got your front of your tablet. Add a uh, color anything and um, do anything you want to it. Fix it up. And then if you we we're going to use duct tape for the next uh, process and scrap paper. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna peel off a piece of duct tape. Okay, this is not easy, so be sure you have, if you want to do this quickly, be sure you do this before, but like, yeah, because I don't want to stretch it, but, okay. Yeah, sorry, that's my bell, my uh, clock bell, it rings every hour. And then you just want to place the back of the tablet onto your colored duct tape and easily cut it off. You can, you can choose to fold it over to make a design on the uh, thing on the tablet, but I am not going to. So I'm going to trim off the excess. And if you want to uh, just keep your front of your tablet white or colored a certain color, but you don't want to cover with duct tape, follow these steps. If you want to cover the sides of duct tape, just go ahead and do it while I'm doing this. And we're trying to do this more efficient and fast. Okay, so, yeah, you can just throw this away unless you have a purpose for it. So we're just going to crumple it in a ball and put it to the side. So now you have this. You, If you followed the directions or your own directions, by the way, I need to get rid of some of this excess. Okay. And now I'm going to get rid of some of this. Excess too. And yeah, so just trim off any excess you have on your tablet.
okay? And then you can do small things like put this to the side. As you see, I'm going to be drawing a little symbol. Or not so little. I'm going to draw a little smaller. Okay, as you see, I drew a button on my leftover scrap paper. And make sure all the duct tape's off your scissors because it can stick. And you just want to uh, cut it out. And then you can easily, after cutting it out, which I am currently working on, Cut it out, wait. Oh, sorry, I am a horrible cutter. Okay, so. Yeah, you got this tiny little thing. And I want mine, like, right in the middle. So I'm going to take my wonderful Crayola glue stick flip the wonderful thing over and glue it or press it on so it's glue on the back and just simply press it on wherever you want your button to be no And I want mine to be right here. And you can add stuff with a black sharpie, such as a camera. And other things. So you just color in the screen, decorate your tablet any way you want, and you're done. So happy crafting, and tell us how you did, and if you love this project. And if you want more like this, we can also do a, a tutorial on how to make a doll laptop, if, you, if wanted, with no printables. We usually don't do printables because we don't print very much. And printing isn't so good. So yeah, it looks like. I will outline it with a pen or something, or a sharpie. And yeah, so happy crafting. And if you have any requests on what we should do, Type it in the comments below, and we'll be happy to do it. Um, so yeah, we are doing crafts like pretty much every day. Like we just, in the last 30 minutes before we made the video, we made this little ice cream cone, which is so cute. And we made a set of 